Tim Cruz from Cruz Reviews, and I'm like the media, I'm like the news. If there's something going on in the world, it's my responsibility to let you know. Today we're gonna talk about the pineapple thing. Now there's this disturbing trend been spotted mostly on Carnival Cruise Lines, and now it's beginning to show up on other ships, so you need to know about this. A pineapple con conspicuously placed on a cruise cabin door does not necessarily mean the cruiser enjoys fruit salad, okay? Some older cruisers may decorate their doors with pineapple magnets or stickers to remember what room they're in, or even for good luck. And yet other people buy Hawaiian shirts with pineapple decorations. But what's the real reason they're wearing or displaying pineapples? And what does it mean when they're upside down? So this seemingly innocuous pineapple symbol has been adopted with people with open marriages, otherwise known as swingers, to publicly advertise their status. It's also known as wife swapping, partner swapping, and a bunch of other less polite names, okay? Apparently, displaying a right side up pineapple on your door or your clothing indicates you're a soft swinger, meaning you're a couple looking to have sexual relations, I don't know how else to say it, in front of another couple without exchanging partners. But the upside down pineapple well means you're willing to swap one or both partners. I don't make these rules, okay? These swinger pineapples can be found as magnets, hangers, door knockers, clothing, or even rings or bracelets. There's so many different signs. And to be honest, since I've learned this fact, I haven't been able to look at pineapples, including the ones at the buffet or even at the grocery store without snickering. <laughs> but pineapples may not be the only sign of ultra-liberal sexuality, okay? Pampas grass in your garden like this, that's the grass with the fluffy feathery blooms, may also be a secret signal that swingers live in the home it belongs to. We've also heard that white landscaping rocks and any pink or purple decorations, including, yes, pink flamingos in the front yard, may be advertising swinger activity in that home. And yes, garden gnomes may indicate a tendency towards naughty activity as well. Life on the Swing Set podcast indicated that many swingers wear a black ring on their right hand if they're out and open to meet other swingers. Other secret swinger symbols include a woman wearing an anklet, maybe toe rings, thumb rings, or switching your wedding ring to the right hand, according to alternative lifestyle blogger Bigger Love. And there's also a necklace that actually displays the symbols for male and female, only kind of modified with three or more symbols instead of just two. And there's a special multiple symbol created to help swingers recognize each other and help them find potential partners, depending on what you're into. It's like three plus signs on both sides mean they'll be looking for partners as a pair, while the minus sign means they would also join without their partner. The whole thing's kind of bizarre. It's a whole lifestyle. These accessories are easily available on Amazon or Etsy. It's global. And there's links to some of these in the comments below. Now, there's a few more terms you're going to need to know, whether you're interested in becoming a swinger or trying to avoid the whole damn scene, like some of us. A unicorn is a single woman willing to swing as a single or with a couple. She's single. A mermaid, or more commonly referred to as a hot wife, is a married woman willing to swing single or with a couple. The non-participating male partner, her husband in that dynamic, is known as a cuckold terrible word. Vanilla means you're an outsider to the whole swinger scene or kind of new. Rainbow colors mean these swingers don't discriminate based on gender. And yes, the eggplant emoji is exactly what you thought it meant, okay? But FF over here brings up a good point. There may be children on cruises and they might find your silly little ducks, which have a sinister meaning as well that I'll tell you about in another video. But how do you stop those little boogie-eating parasites from turning your upside-down pineapple right side up? Which may send the wrong message to potential participants, right? They got their own room, who cares? We explain it something like this. Well, honey, when mommy and daddy and another mommy and daddy and then another mommy and daddy all love each other... No, oh, never mind. It's ridiculous. Sadly, we now bring our own black lights and mattress covers on all cruises due to this naughtiness, these nightmares about the amount of body fluids that may remain on the bed we'll be sleeping in for several days, okay? And I don't blame you if you did either. Wondering about or considering the swinger lifestyle? Here are Cruise Review's top 10 signs that you might already be a swinger. One, you have a strange affinity to clothing or decorations with pineapples on them. Two, 
You worry about explaining to the neighbors why 10 couples show up on a Saturday night carrying overnight bags and don't leave until Sunday afternoon. Three, your sex toy collection costs more than your car. Four, you giggle at the golf course when somebody asks if they can join your foursome. Five, the term vanilla just isn't a flavor to you anymore. Six, you've watched someone personally do a tequila shot off your wife's bare ass. You believe in unicorns because you've met one. You've taken photos of yourself with your head out of the frame on purpose. You know what I mean, those naughty pictures. And the first thing you do when checking into a hotel is to ask for a lot of extra towels. Maybe you've had sex with more people since you've been married than you did when you were single. All great reasons, right? So the next time you cruise on Carnival or any other cruise ship, be sure to put a pineapple on your stateroom door for good luck. Because if you don't do it, we might do it for you. Shh. And remember, if you see something, say something. Well, maybe not in this case. But feel free to drop a like and a share if you got a chuckle out of this video. And if we've missed anything about the swinger lifestyle, because we don't know a whole lot about it, please drop a comment below and help all of us vanillas learn something. Thanks, and we'll see you on the open seas. I'm not leaving my wingman. My long lost cousin, Tim Cruise, is the ultimate reviewer. Woo! <laughs> Please watch Cruise Reviews with Tim Cruise. Now, Tim feels the need. The need for speed! <laughs> well, not so much speed, we're on a cruise, but he completes me. Cruise Reviews, there is no substitute.